हेलो गाइस बैक विद द न्यू टॉपिक एच एल एंड दैट डिजीज एसोसिएशन विद इट सो लेट्स मेक दिस टॉपिक लाइक हैप्पी हेलो इन एच एल एके सो लेट्स मेक इट डेजी विद द हेल्प ऑफ वेरी इज इन इमोनिक्स सो इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड स्टे अपडेटेड फॉर मोस्ट सच अमेजिंग वीडियो नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल रीड अबाउट दिस एच एल ए मॉलिकल्स सो वी हैव एच एल ए क्लास वन एंड एच एल ए क्लास टू सो दिस एच एल ए क्लास वन इट्स प्रेजेंट ऑन ऑल न्यूक्लिएटेड सेल्स एंड दिस एच एल ए क्लास टू इज प्रेजेंट्स ऑन एंटीजन प्रेजेंटिंग सेल लाइक योर माइक्रोफेज डेंड्राइटिक सेल्स बीटा सेल्स ओके सो दिस एच एल ए क्लास वन इट हैज थ्री थ्री अल्फा मॉलिक्यूल एंड वन बीटा मॉलिक्यूल इफ यू सी अल्फा वन अल्फा टू अल्फा थ्री एंड बीटा टू माइक्रोग्लोबुलन इफ यू सी एच एल ए क्लास टू सिंस द नेम इज टू टू अल्फा टू बीटा सो अल्फा वन अल्फा टू बीटा वन बीटा टू ओके रिमेंबर दिस टू वी राइट टू लाइक दिस ओके इन इफ यू टॉक इन रोमन न्यूमरल्स सो दिस इज अल्फा वन दिस इज अल्फा टू दिस इज बीटा वन एंड दिस इज बीटा टू ओके एंड दिस इज एक्चुअली क्लास वन हियर यू सी वी गो लाइक दिस ओके हियर वी डोंट राइट इन अ लीनियर फैशन सो दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट ओके दिस एच एल ए क्लास वन हैज थ्री जीन्स ए बी एन सी दिस एच एल ए क्लास टू हैज एच एल ए डी जीन विच इज थ्री टाइप डी पी डी क्यू डी आर एंड ऑल द वेरियस थिंग्स दैट यू हियर एच एल ए एच एल ए ट्वेंटी सेवन ओके ऑन अदर एच एल ए सी डब्ल्यू सिक्स ऑल द फॉलोइंग हर बेसिकली चेंज इन एच एल ए मॉलिक्यूल्स ओके दैट वी नीड टू नो देन एच एल ए क्लास वन दे प्रेजेंट टू सी डी एट मॉलिक्यूल्स ओके एंड दिस एच एल ए क्लास टू दे प्रेजेंटेड टू द सी डी फोर मॉलिक्यूल हाउ कैन यू रिमेंबर सी द मल्टीप्लीकेशन कम्स आउट टू बी एट बोथ ऑफ द प्लेस हियर फोर इंटू टू एट एंड हियर एच एल ए क्लास टू सी डी फोर इंटू टू एट सो सी डी फोर सेल्स इज द हेल्पर टी सेल्स एंड सी डी एट सेल्स इज द साइटोटॉक्सिक टी सेल सो अगेन दिस इज अ पी वाई क्यू एच एल ए क्लास वन प्रेजेंट टू सी डी एट एंड टू टू सी डी फोर नाउ सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट मे बी आस्क यू वॉट इज द पेप्टाइड बाइंडिंग लेफ्ट इन द एच एल ए क्लास वन सो लुक एट दिस गाइज दिस इज द पेप्टाइड बाइंडिंग सो इट इज प्रेजेंट बिटवीन अल्फा टू एंड अल्फा थ्री दिस पेप्टाइड बाइंडिंग लेफ्ट ओके एंड इफ यू सी दिस क्लास टू रिमेंबर दिस इज अरेज इन अ लीनर फैशन लाइक वी राइट द नंबर टू ओके सो हियर हियर इज द बाइंडिंग लेफ्ट दैट इज इट इज बिटवीन द अल्फा वन एंड द बीटा वन अगेन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट यू नीड टू नो देन एच एल एज इन इट्स लोकेटेड ऑन द क्रोमोजोम नंबर सिक्स ओके एच एल ए स्टैंड फॉर ह्यूमन ल्यूकोसाइट एंटीजन नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन द डिजीज एसोसिएशन विद द एच एल ए ओके सो लेट्स मेक इट वेरी इजी विद द हेल्प ऑफ न्यूमोनिक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इज द एच एल ए ए थ्री दैट इज हिमोक्रोमेटोसिस नाउ द क्वेश्चन कम्स यू विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज एसोसिएटेड विद हिमोक्रोमेटोसिस ओके आयरन मीन्स आयरन एफ ई प्लस थ्री इज दो इट इज it is hla a3 done no confusion now coming now coming on guys to the hla b27 so remember the mnemonic p okay p for psoriatic arthritis okay a for ankylosing spondylitis where you have history of history of back pain then you can have schober test positive psoriatic arthritis where you can have pencil in cuff deformity on x ray so this will be the classical histories in the question then i is for inflammatory bowel disease associated wala R is basically for your and A is also for acute enteritis. This is a uh, PYQ frequently repeated in the exam that may be asked. Okay, ankylosing spondylitis and R means Ritter syndrome where we have orogenital ulcers and other things. Okay, so again this may be asked in the form of a case based question. That is your mnemonic pair. That is actually B twenty seven positive. This uh, this mnemonic everyone might have heard. This is very common mnemonic. Now coming on to the B eight wala thing. Okay, guys. so first of all see what the disease that is graves disease and myasthenia gravis so both of them the term grave is coming okay that means someone has died okay so when someone has died okay and uh, grave okay so grave is like this guys okay so if you make one more guys that looks like a eight okay hla b eight okay this looks like b also this looks like eight also and when someone dies okay di is three letter that is it's also associated with your uh three actually dr3 i think graves and myasthenia is shortened okay both of them so uh, both of them so it's fine i think no more confusion now actually b51 okay b sets this is so see how i have remembered b at holy saint okay it's like when you are at the holy saint or temple uh, we uh, means we give money like 51 rupees we put it put there in the box so b51 you can remember okay bechet for b and 51 rupees at the holy saint then coming on to your congenital adrenal hyperplasia so remember it like cab47 cap47 congenital adrenal and b47 okay cap47 you are calling then soria 
that's his vulgarism so uh, this is the most common reason i think you might have seen in your dermat posting when i attended this was the most common reason that came okay the most cases so this is most common guys okay so uh, i think you might have heard that uh, teachers teach the common things in your classroom in school days and then give the maximum tough question in your exam so this is common so this is uh, cw class work and this is the most common class work in your dermat this is the most common reason so dermat is six letter you can remember cw6 okay so the as uh, sorry as is vulgar is the most common reason in your dermat posting now coming on to actually class 2 association so we have HLA DR2 okay so remember here like this okay good doc good MS doctor treated my sleep disorder guys okay good means good pasture syndrome DR means associated with uh, associated with DR gene okay MS means multiple sclerosis uh, then treated my sleep disorder okay what what disorder I had sleep cup problem that is narcolepsy okay Th then I uh, treated my fever also that is hay, hay fever and treated my rash also that is your SLE so this was all about your DR2 now coming on to DR3 okay so remember three letter that is Glasgow comma scale GCS G for Graves disease G for, G for myasthenia gravis already done guys see so this we have already done DR3 ka okay this we have already done guys uh, this graves uh, is associated with actually dr3 wala thing okay because it's b8 also and this can be made as a 3 also so it's fine i think this is done then see c c for chronic active hepatitis c for uh, caucasian sle okay done and and your uh, s s for zogren syndrome guys so this was all about your hla dr3 now coming on to hla dr4 so remember there are four walls in a room okay four walls in a room and there are there is one doctor okay that is type 1 diabetes mellitus for one okay and four walls in a room that is rheumatoid arthritis now dr5 okay hashimoto hashi hasi that is in english laugh or hasi is also a five letter word okay that is dr5 pernicious that is p for punch that is dr5 then the important thing is actually dq2 and dq8 guys okay so this is basically the gluten sensitive enteropathy the celiac disease wala this where we avoid four things what are the four things that we avoid we avoid barley uh, rye oat and wheat and uh, this is associated with dermatitis herpetiformis where the uh, treatment of choice is dapston so basically you need to avoid four things and this you need to glue in your mind you need to remember so glue helps to stick two things okay and four things you need to avoid guys so this is basically your HLA DQ2 and 4 into 2, 8. That is your HLA DQ2 and DQ8. It's very easy now, I think. And you think, Mujhe hi kyun hua gluten sensitive enteropathy? Main hi kyun Isle DQ. Okay. So, uh, see, let's let's revise, guys. Diabetes mellitus 1, if we talk. And now we'll see with the uh, in the form of a disease wise, guys. Diabetes mellitus 1, okay. So, diabetes mellitus 1. So, you visit the doctor at 20 year, 30 year, 40 year. If you are queen, that is lucky enough. You may even visit at 80 years. So, that is DR2, 3, 4 and DQ8. Okay. Now, coming on here to Graves and Myasthenia. Graves, G. Okay, when someone dies, guys. Okay, that is a tombstone. That is this 8 and 3. This looks like a same. That is actually b8 actually dr3 then gluten sensitive enteropathy you need to avoid bro and this you need to glue in your mind glue sticks two thing together that is 2 into 4 8 2 and 8 okay and mahi q that is dq will be there then pemphigus vulgaris if we see guys okay so uh, the room has four walls guys that is that is the most common thing the room has four walls and this is also associated with dq but not so important then narcolepsy guys basically good doctor treated my slip that was dr2 and also now it says that it's associated with dqb1 not so important hemochromatosis that is due to iron that is a3 guy association sle guys if you remember your path guys this is an example of both type 2 plus type 3 hypersensitivity okay it's difficult to choose one answer so here also it's 2a plus 3 hla dr2 hla dr3 now coming on to the multiple sclerosis guys okay if we talk about your multiple uh, sclerosis did you see we had good ms doctor ms was for multiple sclerosis guys okay also you can remember multiple is eight letter guys okay multiples of eight eight into two 16 guys okay that is his hla b16 and hla dr2 okay ms ms multiple sclerosis is a two letter word and adding multiple eight into two 16 guys okay that is your uh, multiple sclerosis now coming on to some other remaining gun that is actually b57 uh, guys that is your above induced hypersensitivity then actually b35 that is your lymphoid leukemia now see we'll see this three we have 47 
Okay, I think now hope it helps you now. Uh, suppose someone asks you, sor psoriasis vulgari, psoriasis most commonly is an you know dermat posting that is CW6. Okay, now coming on to your ankylosing spondylitis, this comes to your pear wala mnemonic. So, this is HLA B27 associated. Now, B chat disease, guys, that is HLA B51, B at holy send. Okay, so like this, you need to know the HLA association. Some uh, one of this may come in your MCQ exam. So I think this helps you uh, remember the HLA association guys and hope this makes it easy. If you like it guys, please do comment, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Happy learning. Stay tuned for more videos.